right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. Ready? Ready? Let's, go, right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can enjoy it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. And he landed the right hand there. Both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Hands higher, hands higher. He's able to slip the left there. Got the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Right, get the plan. That's where you want. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, half-guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side. And you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Punch over the top. Joy's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Now he's lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Alvy 
gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Look at the turtle in that kick. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Seconds left. Oh, big left. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Final seconds here. Throws the right hand there. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Relax. Take the water and listen. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Nice punch there by Alvin. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. It's nothing. It's nothing. Just missed with the left there. Choi's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Alvy's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Put him up. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. What a punch. Straight right hand now just misses. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Double jab landed there by Joy. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Hands high, hands high. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Ooh, what a punch. Left hook to the head. Oh, man, head kick lands. Score that takedown for me, man. Just misses there with the left. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly 
found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Nice straight punch. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Misses with that punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, nice lead up a cut. 10 seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> round three next. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those Go strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage to none of the opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Now oh. he's going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> the Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. That shot blocked by Alvin. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Clipped him with the right hand there. His misses are entertaining. Oh, nice strike landed there by Choi. Lands a switch knee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. It's the elbow there. That one snuck in. 
Nice strike. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. The quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high crotch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Nice punch there. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He oh! Knees hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Huge right hand! And he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Left hook, right hand. What a fight so far! Great work last round. You knocked him down. You show him you have the power to put anybody away. This round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just misses with that one. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big knee to the body! Oh! Oh, big left hook there! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nice. Whoa! Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner, uh...